Hello, my name is Gabor Tot from Austria. Heart failure is a growing field and we have a lot of hope in cardiac regenerative therapies. We are here today with Daniel Burkhoff from the US and Wojtek Wojakowski from Poland to discuss th this topic. Daniel, what is the concept behind cardiac regenerative therapies? Great, thanks for having us today. Um, the, uh, it's a very high priority for development of treatments for heart failure. Um, nowadays, we basically have a lot of drug therapies and we have device therapies for treating uh, many patients, you know, the millions of patients with heart failure. But the problem is that, that all these, these therapies do not really address the fundamental problem, which is that the myocytes, the muscle cells, either are absent because of myocardial infarction or don't work uh, properly because of cardiomyopathy. And even in the setting of myocardial infarction over time, the my myocytes remodel and get into a state where they're not functioning properly. So we, we are, are, we're not really treating the fundamental problem. So the ultimate treatment for heart failure, aside from heart transplant, which is to replace every single working muscle cell, is to develop some kind of a therapy where we can actually put in new muscle cells into the myocardium. So this could either be at the time of a myocardial infarction when we're losing, at the time when we lose the myocytes, if we can put put cells early in to the heart so that we prevent the remodeling that occurs follow, following, the, uh, following the insult, or after heart failure is fully established and we have large scars or large areas where of myocardial dysfunction. So the idea is really to, to create uh, a new um, working myocardium. And if you think about it, this is really of the therapies that we're exploring right now, this is the only true uh, cure for the heart failure because all the other things that we're doing are not curing heart failure, they're just kind of you know, helping the heart survive in the context of abnormal uh, uh, neurohormonal stresses of heart failure. So we are looking for the ultimate solution, for the ultimate therapy. It would be the ultimate therapy, uh, would avoid the need for heart transplant if we could just get the heart cells to regenerate themselves or to help them by injecting cells into the affected areas. Wojtek, so are we closer to find that ultimate solution? What are the news? Uh, well, uh, so the uh, regenerative therapies are understood in the community as the cell therapies. And again, the cells were broadly understood as the stem cell therapies, which is itself a problem in understanding and, and communication. So those cell therapies are in uh, clinical testing since 2002. So after many years and uh, multiple studies done, uh, in patients with either STEMI in acute phase or established uh, heart failure or refractory angina. Uh, there are some conclusions which are not really very optimistic. So I would start with, with, the, with the STEMI field. So in 2002, first studies done in STEMI aimed to address the unmet needs of late reperfusion, no reperfusion, huge anterior STEMIs. And the cell therapy was envisioned as a way to prevent the uh, reperfusion injury and to prevent the remodeling, which is setting a stage for further uh, development of the heart failure. So after multiple studies were done in STEMI, uh, the newer ones using the MRI, the most sensitive tool to detect the uh, remodeling and uh, pump function, showed virtually uh, and univocally and, well, neutral results. So probably in a similar way to many therapies targeting the uh, reperfusion injury, which worked pretty well in animal models and in small uh, cohorts of patients, the STEMI is not really a uh, very successful field. So we still await for one big study, which is an academia-driven study led by Anthony Matur from London. This is the BAMI study, which aimed to assess all-cause mortality in patients treated with, with mononuclear cells. So this is the field of uh, STEMI. So for the heart failure, the problem is that many different types of cells, from autologous to allogenic, from bone marrow through uh, fat tissue uh, to uh, the cardiac derived cells were tested with different dosage of the cells, different way of the administration. So it's hard to conclude, but so far the data are mixed. 
some larger study showed some hope for improvement in terms of, of combined endpoint of heart failure and rehospitalization and quality of life. But this field still needs uh, a lot of work to improve the cell retention, to improve the way we deliver them, perhaps bioresorbable scaffolds that will uh, release the cells from the, from the peris cardiac tissue will, will address these needs. So, and the third, I would say, niche group of patients are patients with a refractory angina who cannot be revascularized. I would say it's a small uh, cohort of patients given the progress in intervention and cardiology, but I would say it's one, two percent of patients. So in this field, the injection into the myocardium of bone marrow cells across multiple studies showed a signal to improvement of the symptoms and uh, improvement of the perfusion. So I would say uh, this was a long journey, uh, many excellent studies. However, we still don't have one consistent answer because of different types of cells, because of lack of uniform way to isolate the cells and uh, to characterize the cells. It should be done in a way the drug are tested. To compare cell versus cell, you need to have the dosage, dose response. You need to have the uh, the uh, pharmaceutical-like uh, way of cell isolation and production. So we are still in a stage of, of experimental therapies. Daniel, after promising results in animals, these data are not that much convincing yet in humans. Where do you see the problem? Well, I think that the, uh, first of all, I think the results in animals have also not been very impressive. Um, and I feel that uh, this field has been, um, has suffered from some fundamental flaws from the very beginning and jumping too quickly into, into human studies. Um, if you think about all the things that have to happen correctly and and automatically without help uh, uh, from, from new technologies, the odds of cells integrating into the, into the uh, infarct areas, into scars, retention of cells, survival of cells, generation of, of blood vas of, of vascular supply, um, and proliferation to, um, to, to regenerate multiple tens of grams of tissue that we really need. It's not like we can inject some milligrams of tissue and expect some f miraculous effect on function. We need to replace you know, 50, 60, 70, 100 grams of myocardium. We've not really shown from the basic research that all of these steps that are required can be uh, fulfilled even in animal studies. So I think that this is a field of very great importance, but I do feel that it really should be in the area and concentration in the basic science area to overcome all of the limitations that we know exist and we've kind of ignored by jumping into clinical trials. That's so, my feeling about this. So if I understood well that maybe the problem is much more complex than <laughs> the solution what we can offer at the moment. Wojtek, where do you see the future? Where do we go? Will we find the ultimate solution, the ultimate well, therapy? Uh, I think that also, you know, in 2002, there was different competition from other therapies that proved to be successful. You know, in 2002, there was not so much penetration of uh, implantable devices. Uh, we couldn't really address the, uh, the, uh, the heart failure by reducing the mitral regurgitation in a uh, transcatheter way. So, all those therapies, improvement in reperfusion, also raised the bar very high for the new therapy to, to jump in. So I think that still we should work in this field. However, it has to be done within a controlled clinical uh, studies. And this is still an experimental therapy. Thank you. So I think we discussed that this is definitely a field where we need to find a solution, and we, but we still have several steps until reaching the ultimate goal to cure heart failure patient in terms of regenerating the cardiac function. Thank you very much. Thank you for Thank your you comment.